Uh, Frontier offers um, a question type called matrix, which isn't always uh, the most straightforward one to set up. So I'm just going to um, show you very quickly how to how to set up a matrix question. I've got a couple already set up, but let's just start from scratch. So I'm going to do a new question in my test. And uh, this question is going to be about uh, just keywords um, for ICT, basically. And um, my question, my key question is going to be uh, which words are most associated with each um, environment. And by that, what I mean is I just want to have some words like 3G Ethernet and discrete graphics and say whether it's associated with mobile or uh, desktop computers. So here I'm going to choose matrix. And then some very weird stuff happens, like you've got a thing which comes up like this. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write uh, my keywords down here that I want students to think about Ethernet, Wi-Fi and discrete graphics I can have as many as I want you can add more if you want to and then along the top I'm going to uh, basically just have two options one for mobile devices and one for desktop computers so where it says answer one I've just clicked. Oh, the other thing that I've got selected is I've clicked on this thing which says um, detailed information. And detailed information gives you these uh, boxes with numbers next to it. So I'm going to click on answer one and I'm going to change that to mobile device. Um, I'm not going to put anything in score and I'm not going to tick correct. Uh, that's because if I tick correct, it means that um, every option in this column will be correct. And that's not the case because I've got them all over the place. And if I put a score in, that score will be associated with every option in this column. So I don't really want, that's not how my question is set up. So I'm just going to say OK to that. My second answer, this is going to be uh, desktop computer and again I'm leaving score and correct blank and just say OK to that. This answer 3 I don't need so I'm just going to uh, how do I get this? There's normally a little uh, triangle which comes up. I'll, I'll deal with that in a minute. OK so um, under mobile device I know that uh, 3G is going to be associated with this so I click the correct one and give it whatever score I want to. So anybody getting this correct will get a score of one. Ethernet, most usually associated with desktops. Maybe I should have put gigabit Ethernet or something like that. Wi-Fi, most associated with that, although it doesn't say that desktops can't have it. And discrete graphics is um, associated with desktop computers here. So I'm going to select this one and put one in the answer there. Um, at the bottom here, I'm going to say score when all answers are selected. And then I'm just going to save this question and that's saved. OK, so once I've clicked on saves, I've got a little triangle which I can click on and then select delete. So I've deleted the third answer there. So um, okay, so that's that's it. The only the only other thing is that if um, there were things which were associated with more than one device, uh, you could choose um, check boxes from here, which means that pupils will be able to select this and this at the same time instead of just being able to select one going along this row. All right. So well, now we've done that. Let's just take the test and have a look to see what these matrix questions look like so here's one I've set up for vitamins so fat soluble vitamins vitamin A vitamin D these two go over here 
um, and then I've got ICT keywords, 3G, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, discrete graphics, like so, and then I've got some literacy, a literacy question here, so I've got a verb here, a noun here, and a connective here, so submitting my answer, um, what it does is it um, puts a, a, a green next to the scores that you've got there, so I've got one mark for each of those, and then it gives you a total score here for each of the questions attempted. And that's uh, Matrix Questions.